Hello, everyone at DevOps Enterprise Summit. I'm Derek Weeks. I'm Vice President at Sonatype. I'm also the co-founder of All Day DevOps. Uh, I am really excited to be here because this is uh, certainly, this is my fourth DevOps Enterprise Summit, uh, fourth year of it. I've also uh, enjoyed going to London for a couple of the events over there. Uh, and this is by far one of my favorite events of the year. Uh, and uh, I have the pleasure of being joined by Brian and Steven today, who we'll get to in a second. Uh, but we are going to be talking here about the dirty truths of DevSecOps and the experience that Brian and Steven have uh, you know, in this industry, in this arena, talking with the customers uh, and um, people out in the community that they've spent time with over the years. I think the really cool thing about this session is one, we are live. This is not a recorded session. Uh, and we are taking your questions in the Slack channel uh, as we just uh, posted. So Nick, uh, yes, the Mad Max reference uh, is right. Vendordome, Thunderdome, and, and we're about to uh, have a great discussion here. So. Um, when you have questions on DevSecOps, post them live in the Slack channel. I have it right over here on my other screen, so uh, I will see it there. Uh, so some of the dirty truths of DevSecOps, things that we can talk about, uh, tribal wars, uh, if you will, between organizations, how these different organizations merge, uh, merge with one another, come together, provide information to one another, uh, what kind of training opportunities are there? Um, what are the CISOs asking these guys when they go and speak uh, to teams of CISOs? What are the developers asking or anticipating uh, when we're talking about uh, DevSecOps? Um, the cool thing is we can get a CEO's view and a CTO view uh, through this conversation. So I think that will uh, be an interesting dynamic as well. And we'll also talk about how different practices related to DevSecOps have changed over the you know, last five years or so, certainly, um, that it has become more of a, you know, buzzword or topic of conversation or, you know, presentation topic at various conferences. So um, with that, I am going to hand over to Brian for an introduction to him and a little bit about his background. <clears throat> Thanks, Derek. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Brian Fox. I'm one of the co-founders and CTO here at Sonatype. Uh, my background is uh, nearly 20 years in software development, um, C, C++, later Java. Um, I also was heavily involved uh, in Maven, I'm still on the, the Maven PMC, and I was a PMC chair for, for a number of years. And so I have a, a lot of experience um, dealing with enterprise software as well as open source software and how those things intersect. Um, in the early days of Sonatype, we did a lot of training and consulting around Maven, um, helping people uh, sort of uplift their build systems and modernize it. And we saw a lot of companies struggling to um, make effective use of open source without introducing new risks. And that led to sort of uh, our product portfolio and a lot of things we're going to talk about today. Um, you know, trying to help people uh, leverage that open source and, and do do uh, things in a better way that doesn't introduce new security risk. And over those, uh, what's it been, 13 years or so, um, uh, you know, the industry has moved along quite a bit. I think people generally recognize that there's risk in open source from security aspects. Um, in the early days, that wasn't true. People uh, would say, we don't have to worry about that because we have a security team and a, and a firewall. So, you know, my, my stuff is cool. Uh, just don't use GPL, right? So, so I think um, it's an interesting um, conversation to be had about how the industry is, has matured over those times. But that's, that's uh, my background. Uh, Stephen, over to you. Yeah, thanks. Um, and so I'm uh, Stephen McGill, CEO of MuseDev. Um, I've been doing software security and program analysis uh, research and tool building uh, for over 15 years now, um, ever since I did my PhD work in that space. Um, and over the last few years, I've just been getting more and more interested in, in the practice of software and in getting uh, advanced analysis tools into the hands of developers and really making security easier and, and lower friction um, and, and just understanding more of the problems that the developers face, that security teams face, 
um, and the interaction there. And so, um, you know, we've done uh, we've done joint research on that with the state of the software supply chain report. Um, Sona Type and Muse together part partnered with Gene Kim and IT Revolution to um, to do some analysis of uh, how enterprises use open source, um, how enterprises approach governance of of their own software production workflow. Um, and you know, at Muse, we we focus a lot on um, the relationship between security teams and development teams, and um, you know what can sometimes be and become an adversarial relationship, right? And uh, where uh, you know the, the compliance team uh, is, and the change advisory board and so forth is viewed as this big blocker, right? And um, you know, I think a, a theme of this conference, something we found a lot in this community, is that often when when you have those um, processes and uh, workflows that people people grow to hate, um, it can often be fixed with the right application of, of automation um, and the right sort of standardization and, and the right putting the right platform in place. And so we really focus on building a platform for uh, continuous assurance, which is how we refer to this process of automating your government governance workflows, automating compliance, and, um, and really letting letting tools manage the workflows and, and making things automated and self-serve from a development standpoint so that you don't have to have these complicated human-driven processes that slow things down. Um, so yeah, so that's what we focus on is, is delivering uh, via that process really deep insights into, into the code your dev teams are, are working on. So uh, Sonatype focuses on uh, you know open source as Brian was talking about, which is a huge risk surface. Um, so much you need to understand uh, in terms of open source usage and how that impacts uh, security and compliance.